welcome welcome my dear friends myself professor dr rajendra deshpande would like to welcome you all in my ayurveda academy youtube channel to understand the sequentially the different venereal diseases today's topic is lgv lymphogranuloma venerum so venerum is related with the venereal diseases so i have already uploaded the different uh, a venereal diseases that are taking place because of the visiting to the prostitutes or the call girls and without using the condoms unsafe sex that can cause this particular venereal diseases so i have already uploaded the syphilis and the gonorrhea and the chancroid videos you please go through that and then we will understand today about this another venereal disease that is lgv myself is professor dr desh pande i am md in ayurvedic medicine and md in ayurvedic physiology for paid online consultations or paid online dms classes you can whatsapp me on 9226710630 so let us start to discuss about lgv okay so here you can see that the incubation period is 3 days to 3 weeks 3 3 number is very easy to remember 3 days to 3 weeks this is chlamydia trachomatis chlamydia trachomatis are the organisms which are causing this particular problem okay so what are the clinical features the most important is inguinal bubo 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 lgv bubo lgv don't forget this relation so bubo is a lymph gland enlargement this bubo will be accompanied with the ulcer on the genitalia it may be healed ulcer or it may be the active ulcer but the bubo is a characteristic feature of lymphogranuloma venerum for well, how this is happening what is the pathology after disappearance of the genital lesion that is ulcers infection spread through the lymphatics and lymph nodes draining the genital and rectal areas they become enlarged small vesicles or ulcers on genitalia they many times pass unnoticed the victim or the patient don't getting clear cut idea about that particular ulcer sometimes they are little bit painful sometimes or not so they just neglect those ulcer and the most important painful condition appears in the inguinal region that is lymph gland enlargement this first evidence is when the patient comes to the doctor he is telling that doctor see here is a big uh, tumor like uh, appearance over here and it's paining okay so let us see what next so this is you, here you can see uh, this is genitalia and this is the inguinal region and this is called as a blue ball sign blue ball sign inguinal lymph node enlargement so lgv as i have said lymph node enormously enlarge about and below the inguinal ligament forming a groove this is called as a i am sorry there is a printing mistake if you allow me i can correct that thing for you because it should not be good uh, Uh, uh keeping the same thing which is not correct i have already explained you about the incubation period on also the uh, uh infected bacteria what they are now we will continue with our discussion about the clinical features and here you can see the sign of groove what is that sign of groove this is very important for the medical student to remember lgv there is always a sign of groove what is that lymph node enormously enlarged above and below the inguinal ligament and so the uh, between that ligamental uh, area is like a groove okay ultimately this particular gland or the lymph node enlargement suppurate pus formation is there and there will be discharge of yellow pus and after that healing there will be marked scarring and also there is a possibility of sinuses as this is all uh, a septicemic condition the patient will suffer from fever and malaise also okay so here you can see lgv the specific groove sign can you see lymph node enlargement here this is a inguinal ligament okay this area is inguinal ligament above and below these are the swellings and here it is a groove so that is called as a groove sign in lgv so what should be the treatment tablet norflox 400 mg bd for 10 days tablet ciplox 500 mg bd for 10 days this is all either all okay then erythromycin traditional drug 500 mg qid for 3 weeks you have to give then bactrim ds two tablets two times in a day for also 3 weeks the duration is more for this traditional medicines okay 
so now i will discuss about another thing uh, which is uh, again called as a granuloma inguinal previously was it was called as a lgv but this is only like granuloma inguinal this has a, a, a period of incubation is from 8 to 100 days and this is a calimatobacterium bacterium infection okay so uh, what are the clinical features beefy red ulcer with satellite nodules onset is gradual step by step small painless nodules develop on the skin and mucous membrane of genitalia or perianal region as well gradually ulcer will form and break up with beefy red granulomatous base i am sorry my dear friends i cannot show you the different pictures because of the youtube restrictions uh, not uh, exposing any uh, type of the some restrictions are there so i request all of you to check this particular pictures of venereal diseases you directly go to the google uh, images and you will definitely 100% get the uh, uh, figure of uh, or the picture of the syphilis then gonorrhea then chancroid then lgv then granuloma inguinal all uh, typical pictures of genitalia and ulcers and nodules you will get on the google images if possible i can share the link in the explanation uh, box okay lymph nodes may be enlarged and tender may be enlarged it is not like a compulsory bubo of lgv so this is called as a pseudo bubo pseudo bubo okay investigations donovan bodies can be demonstrated by scraping of ulcer treatment is erythromycin 500 mg four times in a day for 10 days ampicillin this is or of course 500 mg ampicillin for four times in a day for 10 days okay so this is a donovan bodies picture under the electronic microscope so uh, in short this is a very fantastic slide don't forget this slide uh, for syphilis gonorrhea then chancroid then lgv and granuloma uh, inguinal uh, the nowadays what is the trend in spite of thinking what to do it is ulcer it is a pus all types of venereal diseases so they all types of venereal diseases are categorized are categorized in these three variety try to understand a b c spd sexually transmitted diseases or venereal diseases nowadays by the dermatologist or by the venereal disease specialist he always classified all these venereal diseases in three category genital ulcer syndrome syndrome means the group of symptoms urethral discharge syndrome or inguinal bubo syndrome so all the diseases it may be syphilis gonorrhea chancroid lgv granuloma inguinal are categorized in three way genital ulcer syndrome urethral discharge syndrome and inguinal bubo syndrome but nowadays the treatment is very easy in allopathic uh, uh, thinking process they say any of this category you can treat all these categories it may be ulcer it may be urethral discharge it may be inguinal bubo give these medicines this is the best medicine for all types of std so don't forget this very very important slide injection safe triaxon injection safe triaxon 250 mg intramuscular with xylocaine 2 cc injection safe triaxon okay then c tri injection ha huh? c tri injection and also you must give the tablet doxy 1 that is 100 mg 1 bd for 10 days after these injections that means ceftriaxon is a citra injection this is the this is the uh, generic name this is the brand name okay but in addition to that injection you have to give the afterwards tablet doxycycline that is doxy 1 100 mg one tablet morning one evening for 10 days injection only once injection ceftriaxon 250 mg intramuscular with xylocaine 2 cc xylocaine without adrenaline xylocaine without adrenaline so you must remember the nowadays the treatment thinking process is very easy for sexually transmitted diseases or venereal diseases okay so my dear friends although i have explained a lot of medicines this is not for the patient for the self medication disclaimer and vaidhanik ishara kaun si bhi bimari mein yathavashyak yatha kal vaidhyakiya salah lena is very important zarurat hai okay if anybody of you suffering from cerebral palsy or thread is motor neuron disease cancer attention deficit hyperactive disorders in the children idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura then cerebral palsy or any such type of the chronic diseases or autoimmune diseases we have ayurveda academy team of doctors 
to help you so you can whatsapp me on 9226810630 okay so i request all of you to like this video share this video and please please subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell button icon to get the intimation of newly uploaded videos i wish you all the best and take care